Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to pretty print JSON object using JavaScript. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to create an index.html file. Okay, inside index.html, let's write down some HTML. Let's down and write down h1 tag in this one. And let's open a script tag so we can write the script. Open with live server. Here we go with the messaging. Now, okay, so let me create an object first. So this is the object, and we can write down easily with console.log and disable display. Okay, so inspect it, console. As you can see, the object is here. But I would like to create something this like this or just get the detail on my web page instead of going this console. How can we do this? We can write down a statement like this. Let's create a div with the ID output. Okay, and I'm going to use this div. For this one, I can use document dot get element by id and get element by id first we need to find the id so id is output okay in this one i'm going to write down nar html and let's display the object first so you can see it is just giving me object object okay it's not providing me the detail to get the detail i need to convert this object into a string for this one i can write uh, let's say str and we can use json jar stringify and this we will pass the object and this will return a string representation of our object let's display the object now so here we go you can see it is giving us the detail if we convert this div into a pre okay so it will give you more better uh, visibility like name class boot subjects something like this will be displayed one more thing you can do instead of uh, writing this you can create a function like uh, i can do function show uh, you can just use the show and you need to provide the value string value i'm passing to it and let's make this statement or take this statement inside of it and here we go we can write down show and pass the str and it will display the same result but uh for this it's always dependent of this pre output okay so if we have multiple we can't do this to let's change this with the str value okay so here we go uh let's change this full statement and now i'm going to create document dot body or append a child in this append child okay let's call document dot create element okay inside the create element i'm going to say we need to create a pre element and inside of that pre element we can call this the inner html okay and this will do the rest so you can see if we have let's suppose if we have multiple objects uh like this let's say we have these objects one two and three okay mark jason uh alicia okay and we can use this show method easily to uh, print multiple values like this i'm going to write on str one and two str one and let's say str2 so let's do this str1 and str2 okay okay there is an error this is because there is not a obj1 and obj2 was defined so here we go you can see all the names are defined with their values this is how useful it is if you are going to create multiple just use this build this method it will create an append object at the end of the document so you can easily see thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel